All right, 6.0.8. Yep. Number of additions and refinements and the Oceana, uh, Oceana Data Center. Okay, these are all just basically adjustments be happening. Um, Numbers go so up. So potency up for Paladins. Tomahawk mm. up for Warrior. Phantom Massive Rush. change. Up for Monk. Yep. For Dragoons. Hmm. What do you got? Increased, increased, increased. Inc- I think that might be a buff. Yeah, because they don't they they generally don't nerf. Now, what about Ninja? Yeah, because we were doing great for the um, level of difficulty. Yeah, that's just the buffs. We're just spinning edge buffs. up ten, yeah. small. Yeah, yeah, basically just conservative buff. Yeah, conservative for buffs. Primary within yeah. uh, notably conservative conservative enough buffs outside of the uh, big damage windows. Mm. Because obviously you'll get a couple of them uh, moved in, but if you're trying to like optimize within your trick window, the only thing you're going to land during that is Hyosho Ranryu, which is obviously that's a hundred buff. That's pretty nice, but generally speaking, it's going to be more, going to be some more sustained damage outside of your big bursty windows, which yeah, is perfectly, um, perfectly reasonable. Samurai again, buffs. Yep. Yeah, this is basically just trying to bring everybody near Reaper. <laughs> It almost, it's, almost literally. Uh, yeah. They don't want to nerf reapers because they're the hot new thing and people like them. Machinist, buff. Yep. Dancer, buff. A fairly big buff to dancer too. It was Spirit. way down though. Yep. Black mage, buff. They definitely summoner, need it. buff. <laughs> Didn't really need it uh, to be honest, yeah. but they did get stuff moved into their window. Okay. Yep. So for other things then, mm-hmm. Oceana data center. So that will be yep. great for all them. Then we have the Omega outfit in the store. You can you can throw your money into a store and get an item. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, the one thing you can uh, scan over was the, you know, the uh, Dragoon tether where you see Dragoons connected to other people. The visual's gone. Oh, wow. Yep. So now uh, new players don't see a big red line between them and an ally and run away. Good move. Yep. Yeah, I've seen exactly. that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, then we have some uh, some clothes. Yeah. Hang on. Purchasable clothes. Serrano, yeah, you're right. I said Summoner didn't need it. What am I smoking? Summoner definitely needed it. I was immediately just thinking, fuck Summoners, they get to run around all day long without having a hard cast. That was literally my thought process. I'm an idiot, sorry. Just Fucking hate hell. Summoners? Yeah. I, was, I, I don't know what I was thinking, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So then there is uh, so there's the Omega... Yep, which you yeah. know fully well and understand. Definitely. There's this, yeah. So here we go. I'm not going to read the flavor text. Yep, don't do that. So um, there you go. Store gear. Yeah, yep. store gear. Everyone's wearing it. Everyone's gave them loads of money. Is what it That's is. As usual. Yeah. Difference is people are broadly more you know satisfied with the actual mm-hmm. uh, the actual game. Yep. That's kind of that. For, for other things, just to round off the, the week, we yep. do have the videos that came out. So mm-hmm. uh, we've got the whole Sylvanas situation. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh. Very cool. Good. Yep. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Cheers, Alex. Burning a child Drasil. I'm glad you've done that thing that we sort of can't really, you know, put back in the bottle. Yeah. Fantastic. Video came out today. Um, we'll yep. be diving into Azeroth, Anshe, Alune. Uh, a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yes. This is like the foundation. It's, this is a funny thing. This is the foundation of loads of videos that are going to be big zingers. Um, yeah. Hard to see how this one is the big zinger, but seriously, you know, hop on. So uh, yes, we got big business going on there. Okay. Over in uh, in gaming land, then. Mm-hmm. Well, we're oh, you know, Lost Ark was last week. Yes, no, yes. we're actually deserving soon the G, uh, the mm-hmm. gaming instead of yeah. it just being you know FF. Uh, mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, FF rating video because um, yeah, there's so much that they do that's just it's a different, completely different format to WoW. And, you know, WoWs has its strengths and its weaknesses. FFs yes. has its strengths and its weaknesses. Right now, I'm, I'm just really enjoying the strengths of their system. Yep, very, very strong. It's great as a newer player. Mm-hmm. Um, then, for other things, well, we've got the future of Activision Blizzard without Bobby. We've got, of course, the full deep uh, dive into Blizzard's new IP. Yep. We have got another ex-Blizzard group mm-hmm. who have made new tales. We have got uh, Mark Dara, who is, I mean big producer of Dragon Age. He, I mean, his YouTube channel is great, and he just completely savaged how, you know, the Bioware yeah. magic, right? Like that phrase, you know, he, he savaged how those games were made mm-hmm. in a great way, you know, great lessons yep. to learn. So big cheers to Mark for sharing them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hitman 3, they had a, a bit of a whoopsie, which oh, now, of course, we need to talk about because they had an anti-whoopsie. Yep. 
they, they made things good again. They unwhoopsied themselves. They unwhoopsied, which is always good to see. And uh, this is an interesting one because this chap here um, has decided that he's going to, <laughs> along with the team, uh, produce a turn-based strategy game that could win Game of the Year, which yep. more has got connotations about being big, being bold, and being ultra high production value. Yeah. So I mean that that's the that's a thing where you know if you you know I don't know how many of you in chat are you know like purely MMO gamers or if you dabble substantially more. Obviously, I know there's both people here, but there's so much production value that like you're like oh what is a big game like what does a big game yeah. mean to you and it's usually going to be like an action adventure or something like that it's going to be an uncharted it's going to be a horizon zero dawn it's going to be a ghost of shima god of war all this like third person over, third person or first person mostly third person over the shoulder here's a character with some other characters there's um there's a good reason for that but there's no reason it's the only game with massive production values yeah you can easily have a strategy game with the same production values, the same kind of cutscenes, and that's something that they're going to do, and I think it's fucking wild. Yeah. It's Maybe it's just me thinking a specific way, but the idea of like, oh yeah, there's just other genres that don't get that love. Wild. Yeah, that was wild. So, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm excited. I love games like that. Yep, for sure. Good stuff.